Welcome back to Take Action News, everybody. David Schuster here. It is time for the part of our show where we honor somebody with the award Activist of the Week. Somebody who's making a difference in his or her community or across the nation. And our Activist of the Week this week involves the issue of voter suppression. It is a problem still across much of the country. And this week's Activist of the Week has been at the forefront of some of our nation's leading issue in electoral campaigns. She is the special assistant to the president and CEO of the National of the NAACP. She has managed numerous death penalty cases, coordinated national lobbying efforts. Uh, she has managed grassroots campaigns in more than 45 states. Our activist of the week, drum roll please, Jotaka Eddie. Jotaka, welcome to the program. Well, we're going to welcome, <laughs> as is often the case, we're having a small audio problem, so we're going to officially uh, welcome your talk to the program in uh, just a second. Um, but folks, um, there's a lot that's going on in the issue when it comes to the issue of uh, voting registration, voting registration, voter suppression. And we were just talking about uh, earlier in the show um, regarding the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court heard arguments, arguments this week on the Voting Rights Act, which was passed in uh, 1965. And particularly, there's a section of the Voting Rights Act that has been challenged by Shelby County, Alabama. The Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act says that uh, since 1965, because of the perniciousness of discrimination and the difficulty that a lot of southern states and southern counties, how difficult they made it for African Americans and other minorities to vote, this law has been in place since 1965 that says that uh, if any of these particular southern counties or southern states want to change the way they conduct elections, then they have to run it by the Justice Department. They have to get approval from the federal government at the Justice Department to put in these changes because the idea is to try to make sure that any particular changes uh, are not done so that some of these counties or some of these states can engage in discrimination. And what's happened is that um, uh, over the last, you know, this has always you know, been done since 1965, but this has always been challenged by Republicans in court. And the challenge was made uh, a couple of years ago, and it's made its way up to the Supreme Court. And we had arguments at the Supreme Court just this past week in which you had some advocates for the Voting Rights Act say, look, there's still this issue of uh, discrimination. We need to continue the Voting Rights Act. And we had you know, advocates for Shelby County and some other southern uh, areas saying, no, this is, you know, we're, we're past discrimination. We don't need it. And this place is an undue burden on particular counties like Shelby County.